Hello YouTube Universe, this is Hydroninja9, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Sony RX100 Mark II. Let me just say something before I say anything else about this camera. MKBHD was right. He said that this camera was the best in his class, it was the best pocket camera you can ever get, and he's right. It is 100% worth the $600 cost. And a lot of people might balk at it, but think about it like this. You're paying $600, but you're going to use this for 5 years. And within those 5 years, it's going to be great all the time until technology finally catches up and, you know, until it finally goes past it. But this camera, this camera, man, it's so worth it. It's so, it's like... It's the best camera of its class. It's the best camera that I've ever used. And I've used T3i, T4i, just name it. I've used a ton of DSLRs. I've used a ton of pocket cameras. I've used everything. I've used film cameras. And this just tops it because it does everything right. And the people that I, I show this camera to, they are amazed. And like I said, these are the people who I got the DSLRs from. And they're amazed by this small little pocket camera. You want to know why? Because it does everything right. First of all, the two, the only two bad things I can think about aren't really bad. It's just because they're average. And that's not a bad thing at all. There's no... If this camera is this good and everything else, you don't need to have a great battery. You don't need to have a great UI. They're not, they're not horrible but they're not amazing. They're not as amazing as the image quality, the build quality, but the battery certainly is all right. It'll get you through most of the day if you're filming. It'll do all right with everything else. It's, it's pretty good. From what I've used it when I went to Canada, it never really ran out. I've never had a time where if I didn't, if I, if I had a, a photo shoot, if I was taking a photo of a ton of photos of museums of etc all that different stuff it still wouldn't run out and by the end of the day it would be around I don't know like 30 percent 40 percent so it did all right and this was intense tense museum photo shooting got around 200 pictures or so from the entire vacation so that is a lot and there's a lot of ones that I deleted so it stood up it stood up the test of my camera skills my horrible camera skills it's it stood up to that the battery was great the UI is all right it does the job I'm it's not obscuring anything it's not making anything overly complicated but it isn't anything super flashy super fancy this isn't gonna be something that's gonna wow you in terms of UI department but it does the job it's easy to use and to be honest who really cares about it it's just the UI and the camera it's not anything major now for the really big deals build quality oh my gosh this camera is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I love how they they put so much detail into it detail into every single thing it feels so premium it feels so nice it feels so solid it has this very nice weight to it that I really I just don't see anymore a lot of a lot of companies are trying to go to into this lightweight thing and it just doesn't work. It, it's, it doesn't feel premium if it's a lightweight plastic thing. It feels premium when it's metal, when it's solid, when you can hold it. I, or at least that's my opinion. And the RX100 Mark II definitely shines in the build quality department. Granted, I wouldn't try this, but... If you really want to try doing a drop test of your $600 camera, go ahead, but I think it'd do fairly well. I definitely don't feel like if I dropped it, say, one foot from the ground, it would make any major, it would have any major damage. It doesn't feel like the iPhone. <laughs> it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like the iPhone. It feels premium, but if it's not like it's not going to shatter into pieces as soon as you hold it. And that's a great thing to have for cameras. Now I've talked around four minutes of everything else but the image quality. And oh my 
this is fantastic. You you guys know how enthusiastic I, I am about this camera. If you've seen some of the pictures that I've put up on Twitter, it's just gorgeous. I'm just going to shut up. I'm not going to say anything about the pictures. Just know that YouTube just has... It has this uh, image compression that makes it look kind of bad, so be aware this isn't the full quality. I'm going to have raw images uploaded later for you guys so that you can check out the raw the raw footage, whatever I have to show. And so let me just let the pictures do all the talking. Go buy this camera. Seriously, it's $600, but it's worth it. You can get the RX100 if, you're, if you really don't want to spend that much money. It's like $400. And it's just simply fantastic. I'll see you guys next time. Hydro out and be sure to stay tuned for the pictures. Where I could stand and say, I wish we could begin here now.